In this video, my friends, we'll be taking a closer look at that LiDAR scanner on the new iPad Pro because this will also likely be coming to the iPhone 12 later on this year. The iPad Pro 2020 version launched last month, and although on the face of it there weren't that many differences, one of the big differences came in that camera arrangement, and with the addition of the LiDAR sensor. Now Apple for the first time have included this on one of their devices, but it is likely to feature on more devices as time goes on. What that LiDAR does is gives you light detection and ranging, which to the layman means it will send out pulses of light and measure the distance and depth, and this in theory will give you far more accurate AR information. This type of technology is already in use, albeit in larger projects like autonomous vehicles and also aircraft. Now, according to everything Apple Pro, we're likely to see this LiDAR scanner appear on this year's iPhone 12. This is yet to be confirmed, obviously, but all of the renders and the information given suggest that it will feature. Now, some of you may be thinking that there's already some VR and AR apps out there which do a pretty good job. And in this example, I'm using Complete Anatomy. And as you can see, the skeleton is there standing in the middle of my floor. My dog is walking around the, the outside and the back of the skeleton, and the skeleton appears to be in front of the dog. In fact, the dog almost seems to sense that the skeleton is there. However, when I put my hand up in front of the skeleton, that's where the problem arises. There's no sense of depth. And so therefore, my hand also disappears appears behind the skeleton. It doesn't recognize what should be in front of it and what should be behind. Now with this new LiDAR technology, that addresses this issue. So for instance, with this object here, which is placed on my desk, you'll see that if I put my hand in front of it, then it recognizes that my hand is in front and so therefore it stays behind. And that's where we're gonna see this technology really take off. So I mentioned in the title that you can already check this out for yourself. Apps are beginning to appear which enable you to use that LiDAR scanner. Now you don't have to be part of the Apple Developer Program, you don't have to have Xcode and all that that brings. If you go and download an app called LiDAR Scanner 3D, and I'll leave the link in the description for you, then you can scan and use that yourself and it will create 3D modeling. Now it is in its infancy, but I thought I'd give you a demo of what it actually looks like. Now there's two ways that you can scan. You can use the first scanning technology like this or you can go and get more detail with the mesh type system but as you move around you can see it's scanning your environment now if I want to switch visualization to the grid which I prefer I find it's easier then literally you can walk around the room scanning absolutely everything and it will create albeit quite a basic but very accurate 3d model and I'll show you that in just one second now another example of an app which is already available is Room Scan LiDAR. Now this creates a 3D and 2D room scan to laser accurate detail of your environment and you can create floor plans and whole house plans. Now we're in the process of testing this at the moment, it's quite a big application and so therefore we will be looking at doing a separate video about this but it's great the way that you can add windows, add doors and then create a floor plan which you can then walk into and it can be 3D or it can also just be 2D. So this is something which we're looking at at the moment, it will give all of the measurements and again this in terms of CAD design and planning is something which is definitely going to be very useful to a whole host of potential industries. So in this example I've screen recorded the iPad so that you can see as you move around it is literally just scanning it. Now I've actually slowed this down by 50%. It does work very very quickly. I was really surprised at how quickly it works. Now obviously with the power of the iPad Pro that makes it very very usable for this type of thing. But as you can see as I walk around you can see that it's getting underneath the desk, underneath the table and creating all of those areas. It literally is mapping everything. Now obviously its uses at the moment are fairly limited and some people have even said why is it featured on the devices at all. But I think we'll start to see with iOS 14, we'll start to see the reasons why it's coming in now. And I think it will be something which as the technology develops, it will just get better and better. And this will soon be something which is on all devices. Now I do believe that the real reason we're seeing this on devices now is that not really for the consumer but it's to give those developers the technology in hand so that they can now build, develop and then release and test things which make use of this type of technology and we're already seeing that with development of games which will use this technology and will be released later this year. 
Now, one of those games which is going to be released later this year is Hot Lava. I imagine that this will come out in line with the new iPhone coming out, so therefore people will be able to play this using the LiDAR scanner on their phone. Now, this is something which is going to change gaming completely, where you can put your own environment in within the game and it's accurate and it works fantastically well. We wait to see how good it's going to be, but remember this is the first stages of this type of technology. The other thing that I think will improve is the accuracy and the detail of individual smaller items. So you should be able to scan your desk, for instance, and all of the different items on the desk then become VR. And so therefore you can scan it in and use them individually. Whether you scan one item at a time or multiple items at the same time, this is something which should develop in future months. Now another real use for this is going to be in the medical industry. The chief designer at 3D4 Medical, which were the developers of the iPad app that I showed you at the beginning of this video, Complete Anatomy, is quoted to say that this has the potential, linked with software, to completely transform the medical community. Now that is a big statement from someone that obviously is in the industry, so it's going to be really exciting to see where this type of technology goes. So you may be asking yourself, do you need this on your iPad now? Well, the answer is truly no. Obviously you don't. There's not enough things which are making use of this technology to warrant it being there at the moment for the average person. But if you're the type of person like myself that likes to be at the forefront, likes to see things develop from the beginning, then definitely the new iPad Pro is one for you to consider. Guys, if this has been useful, then please just give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, hit that red button, and I really do look forward to seeing you on the next video.